Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to be testing out our new rocket stove. And not only are we going to be seeing how fast it'll actually boil water for us, we're going to be cooking up a meal. So come on in and let's take a look at the actual stove. So this is our rocket stove and it is a barbecue Toro and it's called a Rakita. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And this is their number two stove. I think that's their second model they've made. And what that means is Rakita is rocket in German. So this is our first rocket stove. We've never had one before. We've always wanted to get one. And today we're gonna to be testing it out. So the way the rocket stove works is you're gonna have an inlet that's gonna suck air in through the bottom. And you're gonna have the chamber where you feed in your fuel. And today it's gonna to be wood. And basically these are just a really efficient way to get a hot stove. It's a really nice alternative if you're out camping or maybe an RV or something like that and you don't want to use propane. You can use charcoal in this or you can use wood. And the way you want to use wood in a stove like this is you want small pieces. I've already got some kindling cut up and basically you just keep feeding pieces in and as they burn, you're just going to move them forward into the chamber and that's going to create your heat. So let's get this stove fired up and then we're going to see how fast we can boil some water. So like I said, I've never used one of these before. Um, the instructions say when you're starting a fire in there and you're using wood, you want to start it through the top chamber using sticks or straw. I'm going to use some newspaper and I've got some uh, real small kindling here I'm going to throw in. Man, you can tell already that it really puts off a good flame. You can hear it sucking the air in through there. Oh yeah. So then once that gets going, it says you're supposed to start feeding your small sticks in through the bottom. And then it also says this small chamber on the bottom, if you want a big flame, you want to leave this open so it can suck in some more air. And then if you want a small flame, if you don't need it too hot, you can close it and it'll kind of dampen it off. We're going to leave it open now since we're boiling water. And I'm going to start with my smaller sticks, put them in there and push them all the way to the back. Okay, so it's been probably about 30 seconds since we started it and you can already kind of hear this thing making a, a sound a little rocket stove would make. It's kind of like sucking air in from the bottom and it's already starting to take off pretty good. I have this thing just on a piece of wood. I'm not sure how hot the actual bottom of the stove is gonna get. Probably check that later in the video to see if you can actually use this on maybe like a table or something like that. But we're gonna get this so it's really ripping, get it really hot, and then I have exactly six cups of water. We're gonna put it on the stove and see exactly how fast it takes to get that to a rolling boil. And another side note is it is 11 degrees Fahrenheit outside today, so it's pretty cold. Okay, so it started to go out on me, and I think I found the trick to getting this thing started. You want to add a little bit bigger sticks like this in through the top, I think, before you get these um, bottom ones pushed in there. So I'm just putting a couple big ones up there, and we'll see if we can get this thing ripping. Okay, so it's been probably, I don't know, about two and a half, three minutes since we really started getting this thing going. And you can tell it's putting off a lot of heat. It's got a nice flame that's really just pushing up. And like I said, you can hear it sucking the air into the bottom. So I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and make sure we got it really hot. And then we're gonna start timing our water boiling. The rocket stove has been going for about five minutes. So I think that's enough time. We've got it all the way as hot as it's gonna get. Seems like it's going pretty good. I got our stopwatch. I'm gonna start it. And we've got exactly six cups of water right here. And this is like ice cold water. It's been sitting outside with us. So here we go. been one minute and 30 seconds and I'm just kind of pushing these sticks in. It'll kind of burn what it needs to burn and when it does that you can kind of just force these in till they hit the back and give it some more fuel. And again it's 11 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. So you can feel a lot of heat coming out from around the water. It actually feels like it's warming up a little bit already. And then the outside of the stove is 
just a tiny bit warm. It's not hot at all. So I think this thing would probably be good to use just on a regular, um, like a picnic table maybe, or an outdoor table. All right, we're at nine minutes. It's getting noticeably warmer. It's definitely not hot yet. One thing I did is I shoved all those bottom sticks in there and I added about three more of these big ones on top. And then it kind of really took off and we're getting some flames actually coming out the top. So I think I didn't have enough wood loaded in here, but we got the timer going still and we'll see how we do. We're at 13 minutes. It's definitely starting to put off some steam and it's now hot. So we're almost boiling. All right, we got a boil. We're gonna stop the timer. It took us 22 minutes and seven seconds. And I think we could have improved that a few ways. I think if I would have had this stove going with more sticks in it at the beginning, we would have cut a couple minutes off that. I also think if it wasn't so cold out here today, this would have boiled a lot faster. And then again, we're boiling six cups of water. So um, if you're out camping or something or you're making like a mountain house meal or coffee, that's usually only gonna take about two cups of water. So we got quite a bit of water here boiling. Next step is we're gonna be cooking some food on this thing and we're gonna be making soft boiled eggs on toast or at least our version. We're gonna use some moose meat, some caramelized onion, and we're gonna make some sourdough bannock bread. So I'm gonna run inside and grab all of our supplies. All right, we're ready to cook. Since our water's already boiling, we're gonna start our soft boiled eggs. And the way we make these is we just take some boiling water, we add our eggs in there, and we cook them for about five to six minutes. Yeah, our soft boiled eggs are now done. And I'm just gonna set these aside, let them kind of cool off. And then I'm gonna get our skillet on here. I'm gonna get some lard in there. We're gonna start cooking our bread. Got our pan's nice and hot, and I'm gonna throw this bannock bread in there. It's not a typical bannock bread. I just took some sourdough starter, uh, and some flour, and some baking powder, and some salt, and a little bit of water, and I let it rise for about an hour. I'm just gonna plop it in there. I'm gonna try to spread it out, see if we can make a little bit of bread. While that bread's cooking, I'm gonna get a chunk of moose meat out for us. We're using ground moose meat, which is cut with about three to 4% bacon, and then I'm gonna slice up some of our onions. And then we're gonna be caramelizing this, these onions and we just started making our own brown sugar, which has turned out really good. We just use sugar with some molasses and we mix it all up. So we're gonna be using some of this. So far this little stove, I'm really liking it. Um, again, it didn't boil water that fast for us, but I think part of that we could have improved. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's actually putting off a lot of heat and our bread is done. I'm gonna get it off of the stove and we're gonna start our meat and our onions. So when I was cooking the bread, I was having to kind of take the skillet off of the stove and set it on the side because this little stove runs really hot. And I think I could probably just close that um, bottom door, kind of limit the air going in. That would probably cool it down a little bit. But um, this meat you want to cook kind of hot and fast anyways. And it's about at the point where I'm going to add our onions to the pan as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar to our onions. Bam! I'm gonna get this back on the heat. Push our sticks in. And we really haven't burned through a lot of wood at all with this thing, it's super efficient. Okay, the meat and the onions are done. Well, nice, put them back on the heat. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tear this bread 
into chunks. I'm gonna toss it in here and mix it all together. Then we're gonna get our eggs peeled and we'll get this in bowls. Okay, we've got our eggs peeled already. We're gonna get this plated up and it looks really good. Can't wait to eat this. Okay, this looks great. We're gonna eat. This is awesome. It's really cold out here though. So I think we're gonna try and make this meal fast. Yeah, so final thoughts on the stove. Thing's really cool. It really puts off a lot of heat once you get it going, and it's really efficient on the wood. And you don't need big pieces. You know, you just use little twigs and sticks to stick in there, and you could really cook a meal pretty quick on this thing. Definitely, I envision us using this in the future. Maybe bringing it out, you know, if we go somewhere and feel like cooking up a meal. And that is it for today's video. So we will see you guys next time.